Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to go ahead and do a gameplay review of a game that's been out for a little while called Nifty Kicks. This is actually a follow-up gameplay review. Uh, I did a, a video on this right when they came out. They essentially launched the game. It may have still even been an alpha. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, it was back when they gave a, a number of free NFTs away so you can go ahead and test it. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and link, uh, put a link in the description down below to that video so you can kind of compare what it, they started out with and what they have available now. Uh, they've added a lot to the game. So it's 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 actually pretty cool uh, going through those, especially if you're a sneakerhead. If you love different sneakers, this may be the video or the, may be the game that you want to go ahead and check out. Before we really dive into the game itself, let me go ahead and give the, some of the normal disclaimers. I just cover everybody in this one. Uh, first of all, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any game. Please make it sure it's right for your situation. Don't just say jump in because I said something. Also, again, full transparency, want to let you know that the Nifty Kicks team did provide me the NFTs for this game. I will probably, I will most likely go ahead uh, within my Discord, again, a link in the description down below, be giving away a lot of the, the NFTs that I have for the game. Um, I may even package them up in like a, a little package deal so you can go ahead and try some of the, the parts of the game. Um, so I, that will be available for giveaway. So just keep an eye out on the Discord. Uh, also probably put something uh, out there for the Twitter and oh, for the Twitter on Twitter. So you can go ahead and check it out. But let's go ahead and talk about the game itself. Nifty Kicks again is is for the sneakerheads. If you love sneakers, um, and this is this might be the game for you because you're going to go ahead and you you own a factory. You got to produce different types of items, and with those items, you create crates, and then you take your team and you go ahead and make deliveries and from those deliveries you can go ahead and get sneakers from it uh it does kind of raise it up to the next level it's not like the simple sometimes you see on youtube where people go to a, 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 a sneaker show and i'm probably naming that wrong so i apologize if I, I don't want to offend anyone but you go to a show and you, you buy and sell different different sneakers this actually raises up to a whole level. You actually have a military unit and you're going for like the high tier stuff, the absolute high tier stuff. Um, and you actually have a security unit that comes around with you just to make sure no one steals your stuff when you're going in there. So there's a whole bunch of different levels to this game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you the different parts to it. We're going to start off with the production side and then we'll go ahead and talk about the blending side. And then we'll go ahead and jump to the, the, the military unit uh, side. So we'll get into all, all three levels here. Um, and full transparency, again, I've been playing this for about a week. I, I got the NFTs from the team. I've been testing out because I want to at least let you know a little about, about what I'm talking about. So so I just want to make sure you're aware of that. Um, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, again, want to go ahead and also throw the other disclaimer out. It is a bit of a clicker. So if you're not a fan of clickers, it may not be right for you. But there is, again, the, the level of depth here that I mentioned also, for example, with other games like Zombie Coin. Um, I, I'm okay showing games and I, I, I like games that have the certain level of depth because there is an entertainment value there, which Nifty Kicks does come with. So that's why I am showing it, even though it is a clicker style game. For those of you who have been watching my, my videos for a while, you'll understand what I'm, I'm talking about there. So let's go ahead and talk about the game itself. There are actually five tokens within the game. Uh, there's the energy, there's the leather, there is, uh, let's actually jump over here so I can, so I don't mess it up too much. Um, there are, again, there's the leather, there's the rubber, there's the sewing, and there's the pressing that goes along with, with each of these tokens. And then the energy that gives you the energy to allow you to actually do the different items. Uh, when you're playing the game, there are a number of different NFTs out there. They are reasonably priced. So just throwing that out there. Some may be more expensive than others, but you can go ahead, uh, and get the lowest level and work your way up if that's what you choose to do. Uh, some of the key items that you're gonna want in order to play a balanced style game is you're gonna, you're gonna need a factory. Uh, basically the factories come in different levels, level one, all the way level five is the highest I've seen, but I'm, there may be higher than that. Uh, each of the levels kind of allows you to use a different machine within it. As you can see, I have a level four, uh, which allows me to have four different slots. So if I jump over to the machines themselves, I'm allowed to have four different machines in here. Uh, and I'm, I'm specifically doing that so I can have it balanced out because you need uh, some sort of balance in the game, unless you're going to go out there and, and grab some off of the secondary market. 
Uh, you can see I have different machines. I have a, a rubber making machine, a leather machine, a sewing machine, and a press machine, which is going to give me uh, these four of the tokens, uh, really the production tokens that are out there. And in order to run these, uh, I need the energy token, which is the first one that's right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and stake these. Out. First, you stake your factory, which gives you the slots that you can go ahead and put in here. Then you go ahead and stake these in there, which will allow you to every hour claim a certain amount and they do stack. So it's not like you have to claim every single hour. Those are just painful. I wouldn't be showing you the game if that was the case. Uh, they stack on top of each other so you can run it for a period of time and come back. As you can see that that I uh, I actually just claimed this about an hour ago. Um, so I have four that are ready to claim. It does tell you that they're ready. Uh, and then you can either claim them individually or you can go ahead and claim all of them. So we're gonna just go ahead and claim all of them. So you're gonna see uh, my energy will go down and my numbers will go up. The quick slight adjustment there. And now I need to wait another hour before I can claim again. Again, I can wait, I can claim every hour if I choose to, or I can go ahead and uh, check again tomorrow morning if, if that's what I choose to do. You do have the option to go ahead and upgrade these also. Um, but before we jump and talk about the upgrades, the other things that you're gonna need to understand is when you have machines in a factory, uh, they don't always run by themselves. It's not all full automated. So you're going to go ahead and need uh, workers in there. So there are a number of workers out there that they're different levels, different tiers. And I think they give you different production. So each year machine that you have in here needs one worker. So what you're going to go ahead and do, and I, I might do a whole separate video on showing you how to stake it on stake. Uh, you, you go in, you stake your factory, then you stake your machines. Then you go to workers here and you go ahead uh, and let me go to unstaked. You go to unstaked and you'll see one there and you go ahead and stake. I don't have any uh, machines available right now, but it'll give you a choice of the machines that you want to go ahead and stake them to. And then you, then you have them staked. Once you have them staked within and all three of those staked, it's going to allow you to accumulate the different resources. Uh, and then with those resources, you can go ahead and use them to blend. Um, there are a number of other items in here that we will get to in a second, um, but I wanted to show you how you get the energy token. Um, you do need the shoes. It, it's, it's interesting because uh, you need these machines in order to go ahead and blend. You need the blending option to go ahead and create crates. Then you need to do the convoy to go ahead out there and get the kicks. And then the kicks are the ones that are going to go ahead and give you the energy. And these again are passive uh, similar to uh, the workers once everything's staked. Uh, that's how you're going to get your energy. You're going to get your energy from the kicks. And there's also two other categories, which is the promo and collabs, which I don't have anything for, or the chronicles. Again, I don't have anything for those. So those are that's how you're going to get the energy. And it is a balance. In order to do the production, you need you don't need, um, you can go ahead on the Alcor market and get uh, the missing tokens. But I always kind of try to promote the balanced approach so you can be self-sufficient. And that's how you become self-sufficient within this game is you have production for all five of those tokens, which will allow you to go ahead and blend. And that's what we're going to talk about next. Uh, the blending side of the house. There are two different areas in here to go ahead and blend. There is the blending portal. This allows you to blend other NFTs uh, in order to get to the point where you can go ahead and blend these other NFTs. Uh, you're going to go ahead and you'll need some items. You need uh, to go out and buy some of the, the basic NFTs. Um, we're not going to talk too much about that. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is the crafting center because you're going to need to to use this. Um, so in the crafting center, you have a number of different things that are used to craft other items and blend other items. Um, you can go ahead and use your resources that you're building up from the production side to go ahead and get you uh, the, the drivers for the trucks, which we'll talk about here in a few minutes, uh, the security forces, and something that you're going to use probably pretty often once you get to a certain level in the game is you're going to want to go ahead and make the delivery crates. And that's going to lead us into this next section, uh, which is the convoy, the military unit, and all that, side, all that stuff. Um, so that's where this is going to come in. You're going to go ahead and in order to craft, it's as simple as going in here, typing in whatever number that you want. I'm just going to craft one for now, clicking on craft, 
And what's going to happen is you can see it purchased and now it is available in my inventory. And you saw uh, it all go through here and, and these have been reduced. That's as simple as this is. It's a, it's a pretty instant as far as when you go ahead and craft. Um, in here, you also have the option to open packs and things like that, which I'll show you in a little more detail coming here uh, right after we get through the convoy side. Um, so now, now you have the production within your factory. Um, you have the energy being produced. You're able to create these crafts, or sorry, these crates. Um, now, what do you do with the crates? Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and ship these crates somewhere so you can get a reward for those. And that's where the military, this is actually one of the, I think the most recent update to the game is, uh, they went ahead in the production side. If you go to factories, you can see there are military bases now. So there's different levels for the military bases. I believe it goes up to four now. Uh, eventually it'll go up much higher uh, because of the map that's available. Uh, but for each level your military bases, it allows you to go ahead and send a convoy to a different area. Uh, for example, if you have a level one, you can send it to level or island one. If you have a level two, it can, you can send it to island one and island two. I have a level three, so I can go through one through four. And then if you have four, you can go through all four of the, the islands right now. But there is space for expansion to that, which I'll show you here. So once you get to the point where you can go ahead and create your crates and you're ready to ship them, you're going to need a military base that you're going to have to go ahead and stake into the section. Once that's staked, you're going to go over to the convoy section uh, and you're going to go ahead and be able to create your own convoy, which I'll show you that briefly. Uh, the convoy allows you to basically, it's a kind of a military unit and a transportation unit that allows you to go ahead and send these crates out to fill them up and get the sneakers, which the sneakers can then be used to create energy. So you're first going to go ahead and need a commander. So you go ahead and select a commander. Uh, then you'll need a vehicle, depending on the level of your commander or the rarity of your commander. I uh, will determine on how many of the vehicles that you can go ahead and use. I'm going to go ahead and stick in here one. Uh, one unit which allows me to go ahead and uh, ship um, the different items that we're going to go ahead and use. As you can see, I can go all the way up to two vehicles and up to three security vehicles, which I'm not going to do right now. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and also stake one of my security vehicles uh, in here. So we'll go ahead and use the large one, stick that in there. And then now you're going to need a driver and you're going to need security units. Um, so up here, you'll see I have one truck equipped. So I'm going to go ahead and put one driver in there uh, and confirm that. So now I have a driver in there and then I'm going to need some security units. So you go up here to the top here. I'm only going to put in a few security units. Uh, we'll go ahead and use some ion commons because I want to put my, my other ones uh, with some different units. Um, and if you get some of the packs, I've actually had really good luck opening the packs themselves. Uh, and getting legendary uh, security units, which is pretty cool. Uh, I was a little surprised when they started popping out. I even got a double legendary out of one pack, which was neat. So that's, as far as the pack openings go related to this game, uh, they're much more exciting and much more fun. And we'll actually show uh, some openings here shortly. Uh, so I can show you just kind of what it's like as far as the opening of some of the crates. All right, once you have your convoy in there, you go ahead and click on confirm. And then you're going to go ahead and it will create your convoy for you. So now you're going to want to go ahead in order to send your convoy out. You go to convoy again, send and claim. Uh, you can see here, you can toggle through. I actually have one unit that's already out there. Uh, and then uh, this other unit that we just created uh, and, and we can go ahead and ship them out. Uh, in order to go ahead and ship them out, you want to go ahead and add those crates. And that's the crate that I just created. Uh, so I can go ahead and put two crates in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click on equip crate. And this guy, once it verifies, is going to be ready to go ahead and send your convoy out. So what I can do um, is go ahead. Be pre the one criticism that I have with the convoys right now that I wish they added, uh, you see that they have add troops, add crates, send and then delete convoys. I wish they also had an edit convoy. So you could go ahead for example, I wanted to reduce uh, the number of crates or if I wanted to uh, take out a few of my troops, I can go ahead and ed edit and adjust it. Right now, in order to reduce the numbers, I have to delete the entire convoy and build it all over again. So that is one, one item I wish they would go ahead and, and correct. 
But let's go ahead and send out the convoy. And this is going to show you the islands that I was kind of hinting at before. You got island one, two, three, four, and then you have the expansion for four more islands on here, which will be at some point down the road. So what we're going to do is since we have two crates, um, e each island has its limitations. They have a max number of troops you can go ahead and send out. Uh, they also have a specific number of crates. For example, island one, you can only send one crate there. And I believe it can only have uh, a maximum of, I think it's one security unit. I, I could be wrong on that, but it is supposed to be the easiest one. We're going to actually go ahead and do number two here, which I actually can't because I need a minimum of four security. So there we go. You see the, the mark there. So I need to go ahead and add at least one more troop to this, which I can go ahead by doing that, clicking on security force and going ahead and selecting this one and adding that there. So now I have four, so now I can go ahead and run to island number two. So we'll go here and it's gonna go ahead and send it to number two. And then in 20 some hours, we'll see the exact amount here shortly at 23 hours, uh, this will be ready to go ahead and claim. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna jump over uh, and, and actually wait until this is ready to claim and then we'll go ahead and pull it up and I'll show you actually claiming uh the 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 crate so you can see that and we'll open a few um and, and you'll be able to see what kind of rewards you get from those all right we are here uh it's been 24 hours so these are ready to go as far as the claiming goes you can see each one has a little bit of percentage so you can actually fail some of them so you see the legendary was a 70 percent chance of fail because it's a higher island and then you have the other one so let's go ahead and click claim and in here you can see that I, it was successful. Uh, I was able to get a bunch of metals that can be used for blending. And then it does cost me the NKFE, 400 of it, uh, two per crate. Uh, so let's go ahead and claim this. Uh, you gotta go through the normal authentication process because it does create uh, some, some chests or some crates in your inventory. So it does take a second. Then let's go ahead and actually claim the legendary side to see if I was lucky enough. And I was. The mission was successful. It does cost me 600 of the energy token to go ahead and claim this one also. So this is a bit of a big uh, cost as far as the energy goes, uh, but it's a nice reward. So we went ahead and we claimed both of them. So let's go ahead and jump over and actually open up the packages. All right, so we are over here on Nefty, and you can see that I got two uh, packages or crates from the two. So let's go ahead and click on open this. Uh, chances are I'll get uh, some sort of rewards as far as the commons or anything along those lines with these lower packages. As you can see, I actually got an uncommon from here, uh, which was great. So let's go ahead and open the next one. You can see down on the bottom here, there are some, uh, actually, let's go ahead and open this quick, and then we'll, we'll show you this on the island three. Um, so we're opening this up and this one is a, a common, which is kind of expected. Uh, and I'll show you the, show you the, um, rarities and the, you can see down the bottom, each of the different things that you can potentially get as far as the rarities. Let's open this guy up and hopefully because this is Island three, there's a higher chance that I'll get a better, uh, results as far as the rarities. Let's wait for it. Uh, and we got... We got, <laughs> we got a common, uh, so it still happens. You still get a common, um, but you can go ahead and down here at the bottom, uh, let me go ahead and click on more. So you can see the different rarities. So commons are 31% of getting that, but there's a good chance of getting a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and open this one and let's cross our fingers, get some luck out of this one. Wait for it. And, oh, wow, we actually got another crate, which is great. We got a rare shoe or rare kicks. Uh, and then we got another crate that we can go ahead and open it. That's awesome. That's actually the first time that that's happened for me. So let's go ahead and uh, close that one out. Uh, I will have to refresh because obviously it's it's web-based, so you got to refresh every now and then. So there we go. Now you can see I got that in there. Uh, and let's go ahead. You can see that the crate, it was at a, basically a 2% chance of getting that crate. Let's click on open, uh, which, like I said, I have not had that happen to me yet. So let's hope we get some good luck with the, the I guess, the freebie or the bonus shoe. Uh, we got an, a common with this, uncommon one with this one. Uh, and then last but not least, let's go ahead and open this last crate uh, so we can see all the rewards. And then we'll jump over to the game and show you the actual uh, sneakers themselves uh, and the bonuses that you get with them, at least the rewards and the everything that you get with them. Oh, I got a rare out of that one. That's great. I'm happy about that. So let's go ahead and jump out back over to the game and check out the kicks. So to get to the kicks, you're going to go ahead, uh, production, 
and you're going to go ahead and go down to the kicks themselves. There is a good chance that they may not show right away. As you can see, these are actually all, all ones that I've already had in there. So we'll go ahead and refresh this and, uh, and, and see actual the kicks themselves. All right, so we're coming back in here when you're fresh, it defaults to the factory. And now you can see it, that my uh, increased as far as my hourly rate goes. And now the new kicks are on the bottom there. Uh, so the, the, the rare ones give you one energy per second. The uncommons give you a little bit. I think it's seven, also 7 .5, 0 0.75. And then the commons give you 0 0.5. So now you can see that I am getting uh, 9.25 per hour. Uh, as far as my energy goes, which helps balance everything out and allows us to continue to, uh, to continue to progress as far as our results go. Um, so there's a few other things that I can show you within the game. Um, as far as the different areas, um, I can go ahead and click on this token swap, which is the typical token swap. You have a couple different options here to deposit, withdraw. Uh, there is a fee if you if you withdraw from it, like most games like this. Uh, you can exchange resources to get different ones, uh, basically turning energy into the, the other types of tokens that are available. Uh, again, there is a fee to do that. So be aware that there are going to be some fees involved in that. And then last but not least is the leaderboard. Uh, just shows you how many people are getting the medal points, which you get the medals from doing the convoys. Uh, and you can see that I have 32 medals over here. So I am actually, uh, where am I? I'm right here on the list. Uh, as far as uh, where I stand on the, I'm 17th overall on the board. Um, so that's what the game is. What are my thoughts on it? Um, for a clicker, again, there's some depth to it. Uh, I'm glad they added the, the convoy option as far as building that out and sending, um, you're your basically being able to get kicks and, and sending that, that, that addition to it. Um, there are some user-friendly options that I, I, I wish they would implement. For example, replace the drop down for this one with buttons that go across so you can quickly jump in between uh, the different categories of items that you have available there. Uh, also in the convoys, I wish they went ahead and they had the option to go ahead and edit. I, I mentioned that earlier in the, the, the game itself or the video itself. Um, and there's a couple other options. I, I, I wouldn't mind them adding a little more depth. Um, as far as like a marketplace where you could go ahead within the game and, tr and exchange your kicks, things like that. Um, but if you're a sneakerhead, I think this is a good option for you. Go ahead in the comments down below. Let me know, are you a sneakerhead? Is this a game that you think you're going to go ahead and try? Um, do you want to see some more videos around this as far as how to do the difference where I can dive in a whole lot more detail? Because uh, I did skim over a number of items within the game itself. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later.